Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide, and we are on October 6th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew. Long awaited. It's been three days since my last update. I apologize, but here we are looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, which has not been very active as of late. The last 48 hours on the sun, just observing three sunspot regions, one Coming in, cresting on the top left side there, is the most active out of the three bright regions that are facing here. 304 angstroms looking at the incoming imagery now. And you can see on the left-hand side, bottom region of the sun, there is a pretty large sunspot coming in. And that definitely released some energy the other day. And it is evident on the space weather prediction spiral, which you will see momentarily looking at the last... 48 hours outgoing imagery. That bottom sunspot there releasing the solar flare. Other than that, it's been pretty quiet. Another quick look at the cresting northwest limb. We had a couple plasma tornadoes spinning on the sun the other day, and that sunspot there is going to pop something off here soon i think so definitely keeping an eye on these events across the sun as we enter solar cycle 25 which has been pretty excitable already looking at the multi-spectrum here no major weather space weather events to report but we do have some incoming looking at 171 angstroms here and you can see there are no Earth-facing coronal holes. We're looking for dark regions on the Sun, which would be a coronal hole, and there are none. They seem to be elongated and then diminishing. But the energies are stretching across the Sun, and as well, the energies are stretching across our planet. We're going to get to that in just a moment. Looking at here, the space prediction spiral, that one last CME that was shot away from us, but something on the back side of the sun shot out and it is on our way coming here on the 11th of October to the 12th. We will be seeing a little bit of space weather there from an event that happened on the back side of the sun. As well, we're going through the Mercury retrograde starting on the 8th to the 10th and 11th. Looking at Alaska 2 and 3, as you, no major space weather events to see here either. But you can see Mercury coming in for that Mercury uh, retrograde on the Lasco 2 image. Looking at a real time solar wind for today, 305 kilometers per second. Kind of excitable throughout the day, hopping up to about 340, but no major events hitting us right now. It's interesting. The negative and positive polarity which is the top graph and as well the phi angle which has been flipped for the last 24 hours that could be ahead of some kind of ghost space weather event maybe coming from the backside of the planet looking at our Schumann fr frequency for today which has been somewhat normal for the past couple days hovering around 11 we are at a power of 9 for today, quality of 14.7. Now, earthquakes, we've been hovering just over 320, km, or 320 earthquakes on USGS. But we're going to start out here with a 5.7 in Pakistan, which is most recent and the largest throughout the day today. As well, observing a 4.9 earthquake here in Bosnia, Orguz, Bosnia, and uh, towards Croatia. 4.5 here in Shiyomi, India. 10 kilometer depth. Lots of activity through the Eurasian plate. Not all earthquakes are reported here. Looking at Koshima, Japan, a 5.4 earthquake. Shikotan, Russia, 4.5. And there's been quite a few earthquakes through Japan region I've been showing on live stream. As well, Babar, Indonesia, 4.2. And a 5.4 here. Hi Hai Fo, Tonga at a 34, 35 kilometer depth. So not very deep for our normal deep earthquake regions. 
as well, looking at quite a bit of activity here through Pahala. Hawaii seeing a 4.6 today, followed by many earthquakes throughout the, the island after Kilauea erupted and has an active lava lake again. But it looks like the lower southeast rift of Hawaii is about to split open. Alaska seeing quite a bit of activity as well. False Pass, Alaska. Right up into Elkan border, 3.9. Looking across the United States. Big Pine, California, 3.5. Petrolia, 3.2. Minor rumbles through Texas and the Mexico border. But then look at this, through Canada. That's right, Alberta, Grand Prairie, Alberta, seeing a 3.4. And as well, Rocky Mountain House, Alberta, 3.5. Both 10 kilometer depth. And right down into Invermere where they have hot springs through the area. Go figure, a 3.4 earthquake right in the hot springs of Alberta. Edson, Alberta, small earthquake there to report as well. So Alberta is seeing quite a bit of activity. And as well, look along the coastline of British Columbia, the Juan de Fuca Plate. Lots of activity that is not normally reported on the USGS. But right up the coastline and into Alaska you got to be expecting something big here soon. As well, observing, this is the earthquakes the last seven days across and northwest, pretty much, of Yellowstone. A lot of people on YouTube right now saying that uh, Yellowstone can erupt, and I really don't think it will. We'd have to be seeing hundreds, if not thousands, of earthquakes ahead of time. And speaking of earthquakes and volcanoes, look at all of the most recent earthquakes through La Palma as it has reached the ocean and it is releasing large amounts of lava, big gaping lava lake that is spewing into the ocean right now. And look at all the earthquakes all around it still as it er is erupting. Just amazing footage. If you haven't seen it yet, just search live stream of La Palma and you will see it. I encourage everybody to do their own research and check it out yourself. Looking here at Zoom Earth satellite imagery, just look at all of the ash clouds that's coming off of La Palma, which is the left-hand island there. Kind of looks like a mini Africa. But look at the clouds as well, the upper atmosphere being affected by all of that heat coming out of La Palma, the eruption there. We've got multiple vortexes forming here in the lower atmosphere. It's just amazing how much a landmass and an eruption can affect our atmosphere. Look at these deep lower level surface level lows developing. Our atmosphere is going through some great changes right now and it is evident and you're going to see a lot of it when I share it with you here with our five-day forecast coming up. Let's just have a look and carry on with earthquakes here. Small earthquakes through Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico, San Antonio, largest being a 3.1. 18-kilometer depth. But this is the region that normally you see more earthquakes starting to pick up again. 4.8 here at Colombia, 145-kilometer depth. As well as South America here, 4.3. Calama, Chile, 110 kilometer depth. Pretty quiet as well through South American plate. So expecting some kind of movement here, a release even larger than the 5.7 that we saw in uh, Pakistan. 5.0 here to report yesterday. South Sandwich Islands, pretty quiet for that region as well. Expecting something soon. African plate, quiet. Interesting earthquakes there. Greece, Croatia, Bosnia. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and as well daily events worldwide. And we're going to start out here in the temporary home base, Ontario, Canada. 
where we are seeing seasonable temperatures. It was kind of nice. After seeing about two to three days of rain and gray days, high pressure ridge moving in until the next storm, which most likely will be next Tuesday. But other than that, we will see scattered showers Friday, Saturday, as a system comes out of the United States. But watch as this Colorado low comes out and moves northeastward towards the Manitoba and Ontario border. Watch for extreme weather with that system as it bashes with these cold fronts that are going to be coming in big time and hard. Looking at the British Columbia forecast, cold and as well snow, which was forecasted last update. Lots of early snows here coming to the foothills and as well very cold temperatures at higher elevations almost minus 20 in some places minus 17 for just west of calgary so heads up alberta you do have winter on your doorstep if you haven't been experiencing it already now this system coming out of colorado is going to be one to watch as well so stay tuned lots of rain for southeastern united states and as well, this low pressure system is Hurricane Sam. Hurricane Sam is now a subtropical low, but heading into Iceland. And then we have this other little whippersnapper coming out of Newfoundland. Now, I'm not sure where this low is exactly coming from. I'm going to be sharing another video in regards to our jet streams and what is happening to our planet carry on with the forecast here overlooking europe that low pressure system i forecasted the other day is going to grind through the mediterranean and as well a low pressure system heading into northeast europe it's not bad of a low pressure system but high pressure ridge for most of central and eastern europe and then russia we have russia a very big blizzard is forming in the five-day forecast for russia and as well very cold temperatures through the region see a lot of blue moving in and as well i'm going to share some models here with our next video as to where our new north pole is and i've put out a video already about it if you haven't seen it yet please check it out overlooking southeast asia two monstrous systems here developing as well so a typhoon heading for northern philippines and as well hong kong taiwan thailand everybody is going to be involved in this southeast asia has about two very strong and moisturous typhoons on their doorstep big strong high pressure ridge in the pacific watching these lows still grind into alaska watch for that seismicity to continue overlooking australia Watch for later in the week, some moisture to develop northern Australia, but most of the moisture is staying, staying south as summer's trying to move into northern parts, but some pretty intense lows and highs still bringing in some cool temperatures parts of southern Australia. As well, watch for New Zealand here. Watch for possible cyclone developing in the long range, depending on how warm it gets ahead of it. But you could see some pretty dangerous systems spinning around you in New Zealand. Daily evaporation rains through Hawaii. Steam. Lots of steam in SO2 across the planet right now. Tropical system here developing in the East Pacific, South of Mexico. South America, we've still got a big low developing over the continent this week. Thanks to the South Atlantic, Atlantic Anomaly. Watch for some pretty intense storms through Argentina border with Brazil. Africa, no major weather events heading your way. Just some interesting cool temperatures dropping in and out of parts of South Africa. Other than that, nothing major to report. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Pointing out the very cold temperatures in the south pole versus the north pole. As well, 
pointing out the major systems that are spinning across our planet right now. They're getting bigger, they're getting stronger, and they're getting wetter. Thanks, everybody, for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smash that like button. Consider sharing with your friends and family. Prayers for humanity. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.